Welcome back to SDL TV Live. I'm your host, Sarah Bernard, and with me now in the studio is Will Eisman, who is the gallery director of the Phantom Gallery and Bookstore downtown. And um, we're having so much fun talking <laughs> about what it is you do and what's in the Phantom Gallery. So uh, you guys opened on Valentine's Day this year. Opened on Valentine's Day with a Betty Page show. Okay. I mean, what better way to celebrate Valentine's Day Absolutely. than with a Rhonda card? Yeah, right. And uh, we've done a show of, since then, a show of photographs from the punk rock era, original photographs of, you know, the Ramones and uh, uh, all the artists. And then our current show is vintage police car crash and crime scene photographs. Vintage police car yeah. crash and crime scene photographs. That yeah. sounds like something not it's, to miss. It, it's pretty dark and gruesome. <laughs> right. Uh, but following right on the heels of that is Girls Gone Wild. Yeah, which is uh, contemporary American women's graffiti and street art. It's okay. the first national showcase of uh, graffiti artists, women graffiti artists. There's yeah. never been one. Really? They represent less than 1% of the graffiti Art, artists artists yeah, yeah it's mostly a male thing mm -hmm. so the women have kind of been pushed aside and we thought it'd be fun to show some some of the work that's out there and we've got artists from new york and los angeles and san francisco and uh, austin and so Miami. how did you find these artists if they're so like few and far, far between oh they show in little galleries in little cities yeah. and there are a few books on women's graffiti art and we just contacted them and they're like yeah so of how do you define graffiti art uh, is it art that's out there on places it's not supposed to be? Is that graffiti art or is it a certain yeah, that's style? Yeah, graffiti, that's graffiti mm -hmm. art or there's street art where they people will decorate uh, uh, fire plugs or, right. or walls. Um, a lot of this, I mean, I'm not bringing in bricks that they painted on from right. the side of buildings, but they're artists that, that recreate on canvas what they do mm -hmm. as graffiti artists. And most of them are working artists. Yeah. And they do the graffiti on the side and they tag the buildings with, you know, whatever their name is. And, Interesting. And so are any fun. of them coming in for the opening? Hopefully. Not for the opening, but for the closing. For the closing, the yeah. reception party. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you are downtown right in the thick of things. Yes. Thick of excitement. Right there where all the bars are. So are you open to like 2 in the morning? Or? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no. no, 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 no way no, too no. late for you. <laughs> you know, way too late. 10 o'clock on the weekends, that's it. Okay, well, that's okay. So yeah. you're getting the sort of pre-show crowd. Yeah, people, if they're coming down to go to a bar or a restaurant, they don't want to carry around a bag with some books or artwork in it. Yeah, so, so let, let's talk about your books. Okay, well, <laughs> my, my basic... What are we going to find? My basic philosophy of the space is anything that fascinates or offends. Okay. And I kind of put that into the books. Like I was saying to you before we came on camera, I sell everything from the big penis book and the big breast book in 3D to books of circus freaks and airplane crashes and crime scene photos and cannabis and... Okay, so it's like the sort it. of... Um human interest, the stuff we're not supposed to be caught looking at stuff, right? Uh, as I always say, there's, there are things that people look up on the internet that they don't tell their friends about because they're always embarrassed that their friends will think they're crazy. And so I buy books that are on those subject matters. Okay, so people come in and they look at these books and they buy them and what, are they okay with that? Are they yeah, embarrassed? Yeah, oh no, no, no. <laughs> it's like I can't believe there's a place that sells this book. Right. You know, I, didn't, I, I never knew that there was a book published on this subject. It's not stuff you find in a Barnes and Noble or could have found in a Borders. Because right. they're just two, they're all small publishing houses and uh, uh, you know, and they're just not for the general But you, population. but Will can find them. You oh, know yeah, where, to, yeah. where they are. Okay. Uh, you own an art gallery, you have a lot of free time. So <laughs> I spend that on like a treasure hunt looking for unusual books. There you go. It sounds like a fun place to visit and, and shop and maybe yeah. get an unusual gift for somebody. Yeah, we sell DVDs. We also sell vernacular photography, which is like found photographs. Mm -hmm. uh, everything from like say old circus photos to old crime photos. Wow. and vintage boxers and wrestlers, and it, it's it's different. Very fun. Yeah, well, it sounds fun. like a, the place to be um, before the bar or maybe after a couple cocktails. Yeah, a couple <laughs> cocktails. <laughs> okay, very good. So, um, and the exhibit opens? It opens uh, Thursday the 19th from 6 to 10 p.m. And there's so free- next week? Free, next week, there's on. free music, there's free wine, and great art. Okay, so next Thursday, July 19th, be there for Girls Gone Wild one of the first exhibits anywhere of um, girls graffiti art. 
I so, picked the first one. The first one. We're going to claim it. Yeah. The first one. So, all right. It sounds like the place to be and um, be there next Thursday. And um, thank you so, so much well, for coming you. in. I and uh, we come in for the next uh, yeah. opening, too. I want to hear what, what that might be. <laughs> so thanks for to Will for telling us all about the upcoming exhibition. Remember to keep up with STL TV and all the great events going on around St. Louis. You never know what you're going to find here at STL TV. Friend us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And you can always watch us streaming live on stltv.net. The show's not over yet, so don't change the channel. We'll be right back with more STL TV Live.